Acoustic Turbulence is an interactive data art application which creates visualizations of underwater noise pollution created from vessels passing through the Salish Sea. To get the data for this project, I used a marine vessel tracking software to see exactly when large ships were passing over the hydrophones that Ocean Networks Canada operates, and then I would download this data when it was available online. All these sounds are what a ship sounds like two kilometers away. And it's pretty sobering to hear that to hear exactly what these ships sound like when I know how many of these ships pass through the ports of Vancouver, Seattle, and Tacoma every day, and then to see how many ships are traveling around the world, and that there's up to 4,000 of these bulk freighters passing all around the world every single day. The acoustic habitats of marine environments around the world have been severely fragmented by global shipping. Acoustic noise pollution primarily impacts marine mammals, especially those that use echolocation to hunt, such as killer whales. Marine mammals are stressed, it's harder for them to communicate with each other to find mates or to communicate while hunting, and it's also harder for them to find food. Underwater noise pollution created from marine vessels is primarily because of the bubbles that turbines create. The massive engines located inside of these ships are attached to these metal hulls, which also act as a drum, which sends lower frequency noises. Ships have sonar as well, which also increases noise pollution on certain frequencies. Old ships and unmaintained ships sound much louder than new ships that have quieter turbines and smoother operating engines. There are some efforts locally and globally to offer incentives to reduce noise pollution, but so far there's no global authority that's mandating that ships have to operate below certain levels of decibels. I created this program so that people could experience and hear the kind of noise that's created from ships that pass through this area. I do think that visual art has an opportunity to engage with environmental data in a way that is intuitive and interactive, and in a way that people get to form their own connection. Even though this program is really simple, it allows people to explore at their own pace, and it allows people to have this option to see this quieter, more beautiful, serene scene of what things look like above water, and then to see what things sound like below water in this more abstract representation.